What's up guys? This is Fred back here and it's a little bit of a different screen for us today. I wanted, I've been wanting to play something a little different, add to the channel, mixed up a bit, done two back-to-back -back Slay the Spires today. Um, and I wasn't feeling a third one, so I was trying to think of what I wanted to play, and I seen that Don't Starve, ooh, we're gonna get the spring theme workshop. That work a little differently, and it's not. Um, the, the Eye of the Storm, which is apparently a big update um, for Don't Starve, just came out pretty recently. I don't know exactly when, but fairly recently. I haven't played this game in a long time. I think I did like one episode a little while back, but um, I just didn't take to it. The start was bad and I, I ended up not coming back to it. But I thought this would be a good reason to jump back into it and do something similar to what we've been doing with Say the Spires. Uh, there are mods for Don't Starve, so why not do different seasons and adding different sets of mods? Um, we probably won't do one and then another one because I think each episode will be similar. But if we die, we'll add some new ones to mix it up for the next time. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, I'm going to host a game here. Uh, we're doing this alone. Uh, sh let's just do this stuff. I'm going to get this stuff knocked out and I will be right back. Okay, so the settings actually didn't have as much as I thought it would. But I'm going in here now looking at all these global stats. I don't think for this one we are going to change much. I just wanted to look at some of the different stuff that they have. Normally I play, I've played a lot of like normal Don't Starve. I've not played as much together. And there's like so many cool like events we could play around with. Um, I don't know if they make a random generator for Don't Starve, but that could be a fun one. Sanity monsters, enlightened monsters. I don't think I've ever seen those or enlightenment monsters. Uh, I'm dropping disconnect. Everything. I don't really want anything to drop. Um, uh, hunt surprises. Yep, pretty standard stuff here. Record multiplier. Yeah, you could change a lot of things in here, which make it pretty fun. But I think the last time I, they've added a bunch, like I've never seen these cookie cutters. I know that's part of like the boat stuff and I never made it far enough to get to a lot of the stuff. Ooh, sharks I've never seen. Uh, these shattered spiders, nope. Moonrod pingles, nope. That's, I think, new. Horrorhounds I think was in it, but I don't think I've ever seen them. I don't think I've seen the squids. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. All the giants, which I don't think I've ever beat one. Um, because I'm not that good at games. Um, but I don't think, I think Lord of the Fruit Flies seems new to me. Um, I've heard of all these other ones. Maybe I think the Maltross I've seen some stuff on, but I think he's a bit newer too. Let's look at the caves here. Uh, add caves. Always add caves. Uh, yeah, add caves. It's fine. I definitely want them. But this is all like the ancient stuff. Bunch of cool things here. Got all these bosses. Yeah, also you can get fruit flies down here, apparently. Interesting, interesting. Uh, mods. This is where we're gonna start. Uh, most of the ones I'm putting right now are, um, just some quality of life stuff for me. So, food values, great. Uh, we'll show, uh, different, like, what food gives you. I can't remember it, and it sucks when you craft something and this gets something terrible. Um, it's just a waste of a lot of resources. Little positioning is a good one. Shows, uh, um, scoreboard app, players, icons, a global mini map, same campfires for fire pit, uh, fuel by charcoal. Just a little bit of uh, a little bit of helpful mod there. I don't think I've used this one that much, but I think this is the one that's recommended for a map. Uh, health info is great for fights, um, especially if you end up fighting a bunch of bosses and stuff. Who knows? Uh, and large chests, just because there's nothing worse um, than having like too little storage. Uh, clamp mob. Go and do. Which was this one? Cooking, crafting, or a little like. Hmm. I don't remember what this one does. I'll add it. Uh, combine stats. Geometric placement. Yes. And then the mini mat cut. Yep. So these are our the ones I'm going to go with. Um, for our starting, and we might add something later. These are kind of just the ones I want to go with now. There's a lot on the workshop. No. Oh. Lock access to my computer. Sure, that's fine. Nice little pop-ups here. 
up. I'm gonna let the world generate, and we'll be back. All right, first decision we're gonna make here, and I don't know, uh, maybe for this first starting one we'll do, um, we'll pick, but maybe next time we go random. Um, got a couple that I have not unlocked, but I got most of the characters. Um, but for now we could just go Wilson, he is the standard, Mamma Jamma, and then maybe next time we will go random. I know a lot of characters since I played had reworks. Um, Wendy, oh, I think all the main ones all the way up until maybe Maxwell has been reworked. Maybe even a few more. Um, maybe they've all been reworked uh, since I played. But I think we'll go with the normal, plain Mamma Jamma uh, right here. And I don't think I have a lot here to, uh, to go with. So I think I'll just do the normal outfit. Let's get in here. Okay. Bonnie in here. First thing I got to remember. What does what? There's the rotating. And we're gonna go kind of explore. First day, find a path. A couple of beehives and a frog pond up here. Uh, food, oh, desert could be good for rabbits. And we should pick up this grass while we're going. We're gonna need grass, flint, and sticks really to start off here. Oh, I did not. I have to kind of remember these times. These like, um, pick up animatics always look good. And that is a start. Look at that. Eye bone. That means we can have Chester. Actually a very good start. I don't know if I've had like a start. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Go up here now and let's um, we have, are these the, oh, these are lobster mounds. Pretty cool. Nice little lobsters. Chester's going to be very fancy. He's going to make, um, not having to settle down so quickly. So maybe getting up to where we can start uh, picking, like shoveling things. If we can get some gold early on, would be nice. And then we can kind of be a little bit more picky on what our base will be. Like we'll be looking like. Go in here. I want to get a little bit of wood because it would suck to uh, forget to place a campfire down on the first night. I can't remember. Is it? No, E does not pick up. It's space that uh, you can just hold. Oh, there's the new, I think, school of fish. I think it's one of the new things I've not really seen very much. I bet that's a big bar. Now, we could attack frogs here. There's a lot of ponds up to our right. But I think that's the wrong move without an armor and a spear. One of the things I neglect a lot um, in this game is how much uh, armor will really like benefit you. So I think I will hold off till we can get like a log suit. Um, I think that's the way to go early on. Again, I've not played a ton. Um, I get, I think 30 days is about the most I've ever made it, um, which is about a season. Oh, we got a little bit of a, the uh, stage hand there. I think those things are pretty interesting. If I, I don't know exactly what they're for, but we always could look it up as a, I think they're used in like a lot of like mob farms because they can't be broken, uh, if I want to say, or at least by um, mobs. They're not like a destructible object. I think I could be completely wrong on that, but let's continue around. I've not seen any, like there's a lot of exciting things here, but again, we don't want to really settle down. We really want to find more stone. That desert was kind of small. I guess I could have explored it a little bit better, but I'd rather continue walking around um, while we still have a lot of the day, which is about over half done. Based on the bunny rabbit. And we got a little bit of berries here for a good amount of food. So I hope this series will do a little bit better. Hopefully it'll break it up. I like Slay the Spire a lot and it seems to be fairly popular on the channel as like compared to some of the other things I've played. But also, I don't want it to grow stale. We're actually about to hit episode 100 um, here in a few days. So I don't know what I want to exactly do for it. Maybe I'm thinking, um, and you guys maybe have some suggestions and some uh, insight onto what you might want to see. But I was thinking on doing a um, infinite spire run and just see if we can complete more than one loop. Might take a while. So we'll see if I'm able to get to doing that um or we could just try a different like modded character maybe slap a bunch of stuff together and just 
turn on the game and see what happens. Not quite excited. Okay, we got enough logs. Let's cut down another tree. Um, and we will place a campfire up here above us. So I'm thinking we're going to do, um, just to keep the recordings man manageable, I would like something that's a little, um, less long to record than Slay Spire. They're about an hour. It'd be nice to have some, like, 30-minute chunks for you guys. Um, some people don't always have a, the time to invest in an hour, um, or half an hour from doing really bad of a game, so I would like something that's a little bit more manageable. So I'm thinking two-day cycles, um, for this, and yeah, this is, the, let's go up and to the left, um, will be the best to keep it kind of interesting and not, um, bore you guys with more, um, with, like, really, really long episodes, which you can get, because this game, you know, a lot of things, a lot of harvesting. Um, a lot of wandering as we're doing now. So, oh, and there we go. This is where I want to set up the fire for tonight. Um, that way we can go ahead and get some of these stones. Very good. Let's go, let's go ahead and craft a pickaxe. And let's go ahead and equip that and get to dig. That, because I would like to get a shovel. That'll allow us, oh, I think that retextured gold. That looked a little bit nicer. Ooh, Wobsters here. Uh, could be good to set up here too for the Wobster traps. I think that's a thing. Um, to harvest them for meats. Um, good source of meat right there. I think. If it's a thing. Again, I haven't played in a long time. I'm kind of going off of memory and some of the stuff I've seen um, from people who are much better than I am. That, and let's go pick up some of these other stones. I kind of like the um, like mix match tile here. Kind of cool, gives it a different, little bit of a different feel. Um, but we gotta see, maybe if there's some more, um, if there's some rabbit holes nearby. There's some more there. Um, could be worth setting up a side machine. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a painted area over here, though. Not the best. Yeah, the gold's definitely shinier than I remember. Um, anything? Yeah, this continues up into the left for a while. And this is just one tile of this, okay. Interesting. And there's some more gold here. I think we can get one more before we do back. Actually, it's like splotchy. Interesting. I know this is like the tentacle ground stuff. Which I didn't know if they can... On there? I think that's what that is. Ooh, we need to put another log here really quick. Actually, let's go ahead and add a little bit more of these. Um, and we'll actually go ahead and plant some. Um, if I remember right, the tree guardian will come if you do not plant. Replant trees as you uh come down and I wanted to plant this one. Yeah. Ooh, let's put another log on, keep this baby going. And then we'll stand oh let's go ahead and also um look a little bit through. We are about 80. I don't know if these tell me exactly how oh they do. 12 hunger, so need a couple of these right here. I need four of them. Pop ourselves off. And let's go ahead and open up Chester and throw stuff in here we're not gonna be using. Um, sulfur, or nitrite, not sulfur. Okay, good one. Um, I think that's actually it for now. Look, what do we need? Nice machine we can craft, however. I don't think we want to set up here quite yet. Um, there's nothing that's, like, super enticing currently. Um, that will allow us to, like, make farms. Um, no, we don't have a source of, um, poo for that. We don't have... Like, pig houses nearby. I wasted that log, but we fine. We can more for it at this point in time. Um, but there's nothing like that. Like, I guess you can consider a honey farm a sustainable source of food, but there's not enough beehives to, like, crack for that. Uh, so I'd rather just continue around here, see what the map has to offer. And these early days um, in autumn are the best to do that. I think that's when the best weather um, but we do need to set up before we have to for winter. I'd say about by like day five we want to be like really setting up something. This is a little odd shape. I hope it doesn't dead end again. It would be kind of unfortunate here. Oh, we got a... I touched them. Always I did a touch base. I thought... Oh, I think it's if you're a ghost. There's a gigantic beehive and a mine here. So I think we can get the 
is it the bee queen? Who I've ne again, never seen. Um, comes from that. So that's an interesting one. And I don't know if it like matters if they're near the mine. Like if there's any cool advantages or disadvantages of that. Because I know bats come from the mine. So, could be interesting. There's actually two of them back to back. Weird spawns, I feel like. Could be common that I just don't play enough to see it. I got a little bit of a um, mole right there. I can do it currently just eating all the rocks in the area. So I'll pick up stuff as we can. A lot of flint. Oh, there we go. Some more of this. And all the gold we can throw. I don't know what we'll be using it for in this early game, but the stone will be good for stone walls. And in the early part, there's a lot of structures you want to create. So I'm not too bad to have all this. This is with Chester. I'm not like worried about inventory and like setting down a science machine just to make a backpack. Make some haste uh, here. There's a tall bird. Could use oxes tall birds here. Okay, so tall bird eggs would be nice. A lot more stone. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what are you? I've never seen that. Uh, I do not want to mess with that tall bird. I have no inkling to die uh, this early on. Another patch of nonsense ground. Um, again, I don't know if we could spawn the tentacles, but I know they're used for um, one of the like better weapons, better than the starting spear, or I think it's like as good as, I want to say the handbat. I, I get, I don't know the stats off the top of my head. Um, but I know you can use the tentacles to craft a good weapon. Lots of stone and stuff I should be trying to collect. But again, more focused on exploring. We always can come back for some of this gold and stuff. There's a over here I want to get to. Looks like the birch for a birch forest. Which is a halfway decent um, source of food and the birch nuts. Wouldn't be like the worst thing to deal with and there's the connection right there um oh so it was up by the bee oh there's another road let's travel oh it's a um a bee meadow area the angry bees though so it could be a uh, good source to because beehives are great um you can use them for its honey poultice to heal and then just a good source of food to mix a connecting path here let's continue north um, and try to splay out a little bit more of the map or we could dead end. Actually, there's something up over there. I don't know what all that is. Huh. A lot of random nonsense on that. Um, I've not used it quite so much. Oh, spiders over here to our right. Okay. I'm kind of liking... Ooh, there's a bunch of spiders. Liking this area up uh, a little bit more than what we've seen down south. We want to them to leave us. A little bit left here, maybe a little bit farther. Over to these birch trees. And see if there's like a clear area to build. Because there's a lot of stuff to the um, southeast of us. So I kind of like, I don't want to be like in the thick of it things, but suspicious marble statue. Okay. I like in this like nice lush forest, I think. There's plenty of stone to like the southeast. Well, maybe just directly south now. Um, we can kind of use this uh, river edge uh, a little defensively and put bridges close by to traverse a little easier um, and possibly get away from monsters and stuff. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, the wobsters are not too far if we want to use those as a food source. Pick flower. I like the way that, and there's a warp hole right here. I don't know if that drops for sanity, but I think this is the area I do want to set up in. Plenty of woods. I think the only downside is to get the birch monster thing. Would not be as fun here. Um, but I want to start setting up so we can put down the science machine. I think I'm kind of okay with this so far. Um, I'll place some like pine cones and stuff in just a moment. Okay. I do want some, yeah, normal trees here. I can go grab some and we'll plant those pine cones 
Um, I don't know if the birch trees have a higher chance of getting the birch, the like the tree monsters, but I know they are much worse to deal with. Oh, we're not going to find one before we have to set up. That's fine. I'll do that as part of what we do next time. This is a nice like flat area. So let's go ahead, set up a for real fire pit. There we go. I do want to also set up. Try to get this even. Oh, I should. Next time, maybe try to install a grid. I don't know if that's like a thing we can do, but would be kind of nice. All right, access to a lot more things. Let's go ahead. First thing I really want is a backpack. I'm gonna look. It'll feel hard. We don't have any friends currently. Well, or and we should not. Um, flare. It's a way for your trusted friends. Interesting. I've not seen that. Backpack. There we go. Nice to see. Ooh, we did not grab a lot of logs. Go ahead and cut down another tree here. Do that. I think I can spike it with nitrate if I wanted to, but I don't think we need to. And we need to eat again. Alright, and I think, yeah, the next thing I want to do is look for stuff to make farms with. But one more fuel and we should be good for the rest of the night. Go ahead and cook our berries here. I think we'll cook another four again. That seemed like a good number last night. But we were at 80, so actually I think I'll cook a couple more. Don't want them to spoil. Um, and we haven't seen any mechs to get gears for a fridge. So, we'll have to keep that in mind. But if we go in the... Ooh. Oh, we're too hot. Already. Um, if we go into the underground caves, that'll be something we can easily accomplish. But... That's going to do it here. Um, second day, um, we will continue into the third day here um, in the next episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit the like button. Uh, tell me if you're enjoying this. Um, I think it'd be a lot of fun to spice it up, take it slow, and see where we can go with it. See what kind of wacky takes we can do. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.